are two different barriers that we find to using your mental energy productively. One is that you're just wasting this finite mental energy. So that happens when you've got really low priorities going on. Other people are stealing your energy. You know the times, um, I know a lot of you are working from home, but the times when you would be done with your work day and the question, the dreaded question comes up, what are we going to have for dinner? And you have had such a day where you're completely depleted that even that small decision feels like a lot. That is about wasting your mental energy during the day. I just, you don't have any energy left for something like that. Well, we have so many little decisions during the day and so many priorities that are trying to take your time that I want you to think about just because you can do it, should you be doing it? So there are times that that may mean you rethink some of what you commit to. This means that you might start saying no to more things that yes, you're perfectly capable of doing, but you may have to save that mental energy for something else. So your home life also takes a lot of energy as well. It's not just your work life. So think about that finite mental energy. What is kind of stealing that and what really deserves your best efforts? Okay, the second thing that we find is working against your strengths. Why do we work against our strengths? Because you've gotten a ton of good, right? Good in quotes, good advice over the years. Your parents told you there was one right way to get things done. Your teachers certainly did. Um, you've got all kinds of workplace solutions that are there's one right way to execute, to organize, to uh, brainstorm ideas, whatever it might be. So you might be working against your strengths because you have these outdated ideas of what you need to be. 